Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Argus Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you what is the best setting for Enscape renders in interior design. So as you can see, we have some type of living room in there with some type of lighting and sunlight, but we don't know how we can set our setting on some type of good or realistic rendering setting. So before we start this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's get to work. I'm going to press F on my keyboard and click on the uh, scene number one. And this is my camera shot. So I will close it right now and I will start my setting for this shot. The point is that all the settings in Enscape will be different in any type of scenes and architectural projects. So I will move the original setting at the right side and turn off the auto exposure. So now I can re-exposure my screen manually to see better result and exact results. So 56% is the good number right now. And I will reduce the field of view to zoom a little bit on my target. Something like that can be really good. And 73 degree horizontal is good. So the main targets in this render related to these table and these sofas. As you can see on this table, we have some type of golden candles with some type of glassy vase. So I will turn on the depth of field, turn off the uh, auto focus and play with the focal point and focus on my target. As you can see, now we are on our target. Very simple, something like that. And I will type 4.10 meter the distance between the uh, camera lens and your focus point. So depth of field is some number about 11%. And now we have some normal result in our render. So I will click on the uh, image bar in here, turn on the auto contrast. So in the color temperature and saturation, uh, for better result in these type of renders, Actually, we have the sunlight and the screen is warm enough. But if you want, you can check the uh, color balance with the increasing the color temperature. And some number about 8000 Kelvin is really good. So saturation is some number about 102%. And lens flare or bloom is really important. But how we can detect them? Look at the sun direction in here, as you can see. We have the sun rays on our sofas and table. For this reason, I can turn back to the scene one another time and increase the bloom option a little bit. And now you can see the side effects on these flower in here. As you can see, when I increase the bloom option, this flower's leaf will reflect the sunlight on the camera lens. So I can use the bloom option at the first time and after that I can set the lens flare. For these type of renders I prefer to use some number about 32% for the bloom and 64% for the lens flare. So Wignate is about 6 and chromatic aberration is not important. So in the atmosphere I will turn off the fog to see better result of the lighting and some brightness is the next project. So look at this place in here. When I decrease the uh, some brightness, we will have some type of a screen like that, for example. And it's really near to the cloudy weather. So if you want to work on the outdoor design and the city space, I suggest this option to you. But if you want to only render your interior project very fast and easy, you can increase this number to the 66 percent and the final result may be something like this. So I need some type of very hard shadows. So if you want hard shadows, you can increase the shadow sharpness to the uh, some value higher than 80. I prefer to use 88 percent. And now we have better details in the interior shadow and ray tracing. Artificial light brightness related to the 126 and ambient is some number about 59. So I don't need any type of wind for my job right now. And in the skybox, 
I can change my source to the white cubes. So now we have better outdoor HDRI for this job and it's much better than the past. So I want to turn off the uh, density of the clouds, variety of the clouds and Cyrus amount of the clouds. What will happen in the inside of this house? And the result is that all the shadows much sharper than the past. So when you have some type of clear weather without any type of clouds, you will have some type of very hard shadows in your interior design. So in the output, file format on the JPG and the sky is good. And in, in the main bar, I'm going to play with some options like the outline and others. So I think I can increase the exposure a little bit about 58, for example. And the result is not bad, actually. So I will turn on the uh, outline about 6%. And I think now everything is good for me for the uh, rendering. So I will check one render with the uh, white mode. So I will change the uh, mode in the styles from the non mode to the white mode. And as you can see, this is the result that we have in here. For the white mode, I prefer to increase the outline about 16%. And now I want to render this job. So I will click on the uh, visual setting and in the rendering quality, I would change it to the ultra. And now time for the uh, rendering. So for this job, I'm going to press shift and F11 on my keyboard, check the desktop and save this file. So it takes a little bit time, but white renders usually have low hard space managing. So as you can see, white render down for us very fast. And now I can change the uh, outline to the S6 and change the uh, white mode to the non mode. And now we have realistic result that we have in there. So I will minimize it right now. And I have some problem with the uh, carpet's color. For better interior design, always try to keep the uh, contrast between elements like the uh, objects or textures. I will click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor, click on the uh, Sample Paint and Eyedropper to pick up my color and detect it in my Enscape Material Editor. So I will click on it and move it in here. So I want to add some type of tint color like the uh, white. But right now we have white color on the tint color. So how we can change it? You can reduce the image fade if you have texture in your job. So it's about 100%. If I reduce it to the 46%, now we have whiter carpet in here. So I will change it to the, for example, 10. And as you can see, I can change the color like that. If you didn't get your main result, you can delete the uh, texture and now you only have the color in here. So you can decrease the roughness for brighter result and increase the specular to the 99%. So now it's much better and I can render my job faster than the past. So I think time for the rendering and we don't need any type of elements right now. Everything is good, camera shot is good, and in the image bar, if I reset the color temperature, we have better result in the rendering. So all of them completely depends on you and what you want from your renders and projects. So I will press Shift and F11 and save it on my desktop, very simple and easy. As you can see, under 10 minutes, we create white render and color render in Enscape with the high quality and realistic result. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your watching. And this is the uh, final result that we have in here. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks a lot and goodbye.